This shop may look closed, but step in and you're in the makeshift home of the Ali family. The plastic sheets are an attempt at protection from the cold weather, and the blankets are supposed to divide the space into rooms for the many members of this extended family. Abu Ali helps out in the kitchen, which is outside the shop. His family was forced out of their home in the countryside of Homs province in northern Syria. He lost one son and his brothers were arrested by pro-Assad militias. This is now home. Every aspect of life is difficult and harsh. There is no medicine. If our child falls sick, we cannot treat him. We don't even have warm clothes. That story reverberates throughout Syria's six million displaced people. The countryside in Homs has been besieged for years and desperate living conditions have been deteriorating. In the town of Kaflaha, there is no running water. Those who can afford it rely on water tankers. We bring the water from the wells in the city. 75 to 80 percent of the water is not clean. And drinking that brings waterborne diseases. The number of hepatitis patients has increased in Al Hula. Now it's four or five times higher. Last month, nearly 40 cases in Kafr Laha were mostly children or teenagers. This little girl has been diagnosed with jaundice. Her father thinks it's due to what they have been consuming. She has liver disease because of the water and also vegetables being grown with sewage. In this cluster of villages, there have been multiple deaths attributed to bad water. Mohammed finds it difficult just to sit up these days. My whole body hurts. After the tests, the doctor told me I have liver disease. The reason is unhealthy vegetables growing using sewage and tankers transporting contaminated water. Nearly seven years of war in Syria has decimated its once respectable healthcare system. And as other basic amenities like water and electricity become scarcer, more people are dying of preventable diseases. Osama bin Javed, Al Jazeera.